Welcome to the Provocative Perspectives video cast and podcast from Maven. We present insights from leading B2B service providers that challenge how executive decision makers should think about issues that are important and urgent to them. Our guests are consultants, fractional executives, and others who offer expertise as a service who are in the top 20% of their profession. Following Maven's proprietary Provocative Perspectives framework, they tell a compelling story that moves the needle for their clients. And here's our host, the co-founder and CEO of Maven, Jay Kingley. I'm Jay Kingley, co-founder and CEO of Maven. Welcome to our show, where our guests share their provocative perspective on what their target market is missing out on. I'm happy to welcome Wendy Marks of Thriving at 50 Plus. Wendy is based in Trumbull, Connecticut, and she is going to talk to us today about the importance of branding and differentiated messaging as essential activities for small businesses to get customers and grow their businesses. I'm Wendy Marks, president of Thriving at 50 Plus, and I'm here today to talk about the importance of differentiating your business. It just never fails to amaze me when I see profiles on LinkedIn that simply say vice president or business coach. They're as differentiated as cardboard. There's no reason to engage or linger on a profile that says that. And I just love what marketer David Breyer says. Cookie cutters are for baking, not branding. Small business owners typically put the cart before the horse. They hang out their shingle before they're branded and differentiated. Consequently, they don't give you any reason whatsoever to connect with them. They're not offering something distinctive or engaging, and they fail to attract new customers. Many small business owners struggle to grow their business. They depend mainly on referrals and word-of-mouth marketing, but unfortunately, that leaves a vast audience of prospects untapped. There are so many people out there that potentially could use the small businesses service, but know nothing about them. Now, these small businesses know they need to market and brand themselves, but what they've tried hasn't worked. They've gotten cold feet. They're discouraged. They're disheartened. They're discontent. They know something needs to change, but they just don't know what to do. They're stuck. The problem is that many small business owners, especially coaches and consultants, sound like everyone else. They're not getting the business they need, and they blame that on their failure to market. Yet the fact is you cannot be successful marketing your business unless you're first branded and differentiated. After all, why would you buy from someone who calls himself or herself a business coach? You want to buy from somebody who's talking directly to your challenges and your needs. This is how most small businesses think about the issue. They think if they brag about all their certifications and their credentials, that you'll be ooing and aahing and want to hire them. They think if they have a laundry list of products and services, one will strike your fancy. The disconnect is that small business owners will say what they do and think that's the same thing as saying how they will help you. I want to repeat that because it's so essential. The disconnect is that small business owners will say what they do and think that's the same thing as saying how they will help you. If you begin with the customer and his or her problems, then you're talking directly to the customer, not at the customer. What small businesses fail to understand is that it's 
all about the customer, not about them. Some companies are very good understanding that. You're probably familiar with the management tool company Evernote. This is Evernote's tagline, get organized, work smarter, remember everything. It's not bragging about itself, saying how terrific it is. It's talking to the challenges that its customers face. They need to keep on top of everything. The point is that small businesses will say what they do and think that's the same as saying how they're helping the customer when they're really not letting the customer see themselves and what their issues are. If you begin with a customer, you will not go wrong. Let's have a conversation on how you personally can nail your messaging, positioning, and branding to stand out and grow your business. You can reach me at Wendy at Thriving at 50 Plus. And please connect with me on LinkedIn at Wendy A. Marks. Wendy, one of my favorite sayings of all times is when you try to be everything to everybody, you're nothing to nobody. And I think that is the essence of the message that you're communicating to us. You have to stand for something. You've got to pick a lane and then stand out as a shining beacon in whatever lane you have chosen. So thank you for that. Now we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to learn all about Wendy. Consultants and other providers of expertise as a service lose too many sleepless nights worrying about where their future clients and revenues are going to come from. You've been told over and over that if you want more clients, you have to do more marketing, more networking, more LinkedIn outreach, more email blasts, and even hiring appointment setters to do more cold calling. What if instead you could get more clients by doing less marketing? Maven works with its clients to generate all the referrals they need to not only be fully booked, but to have a pipeline that takes the worry away on where their future business is coming from. Maven, the referralability edge, do it with you advisory service takes you from random acts of marketing to powering your business with referrals and even all the way to becoming remarkably referable where you go from doing the work to a highly compensated CXO whisperer. So email j.kingley at referabilitymaven.com to schedule an introductory call to learn more. Welcome back. We're talking to Wendy Marks of Thriving at 50 Plus. Let's find out a bit more about you. Wendy, can you tell us what are the pain points that you resolve for your target market and why do they need you to get rid of the pain? Small business owners, especially coaches and consultants, are frustrated that their business isn't growing. They depend pretty much exclusively on referrals and word of mouth, and they consequently can't get off first base. They're struggling to define what they do and to do so in a compelling way that makes it very easy for somebody to say yes and take the next step. They're hesitant to market for fear of appearing salesy. They're at a crosswords. They don't know what to do to grow their business, yet they're frustrated, anxious, and upset. Wendy, when you are out working with clients, I I think I know a little bit of something about their mindset which is they're not looking to work with people that are average. They want to work with the very best, with an expert who can get them to where they need to be. So can you share with us what makes you great at what you do? I'm an expert storyteller because I know how to take what seems like an incoherent, confusing, uninviting story and turn it into something that's engaging, easy to understand, and make someone want to know more. I excel in taking somebody who sounds like everyone else and give that person a true stamp of distinction. I then help them take this engaging story and turn it into marketing materials that get prospects to take that essential next step and become leads and then clients or customers. I encourage everybody to 
link up with uh, Wendy on LinkedIn and get the facts and the details about her career and experience that positioned her to be outstanding at what it is that she does. But Wendy, I have a slightly different question for you. Can you share with us what is it that happened in your life that would most explain why you do what you do today? I've been privileged, Jay, to keep evolving my career and talents with each step a jumping off point for the next. I didn't become an expert marketer, that's for sure, out of the gate. I meandered first into social work and journalism before I found my true calling and passion, marketing. I'm grateful now that I can take all my talents and use them on behalf of small business owners. I'm delighted to see the transformation that I can help affect in small business owners' careers and life so they become differentiated and branded and truly start marketing and growing their business. And this is my encore career. I could truly retire if I wanted to. However, I love helping people and want to continue to have purpose and meaning and keep my finger in the pie. For any small business out there, they really need, if they're going to be successful, to focus on the service they deliver to their clients, having that transformational impact on their clients. And that's a full-time job. The challenge that I think small businesses have is how can they be great at what they do and also do their marketing and sales to a level that ensures they have a thriving business. And most small business owners aren't experts in marketing. So I think, Wendy, you have outlined for the small businesses that are in our audience the critical importance of differentiation, being able to message that in a compelling fashion to educate the market and to build awareness around your brand. And I always think of brand is very simply what the prospects, the people who have yet to do business with you, what is their expectation for what it's like to work with you? I think you've shared a lot of interesting insights on how small businesses need to think about this and most importantly, move forward. I encourage all those folks in our audience, please reach out to Wendy, continue the conversation and create a business that is every bit as good as the service and the impact that you have on your clients. So Wendy, I wanna thank you for being such a terrific guest today. To our audience, let's continue to crush it until next time. Thank you.